Good morning guys, Scotty here. It is June 19th and I am going to attempt to do the snail grove board system, method, process, whatever you want to call it, on Colony 15 here. I'm just going to explain the process of my understanding of the process. This is not a how-to video. This is just me fooling with my bees and having a good time. The snail grove board process system, uh, my understanding of it. What I'm going to attempt to do is separate the queen from the brood. I'm going to try and get the queen into the bottom box with as many empty frames as I can find and just a small, just a small patch of eggs and larvae is what he recommends. I'm almost certainly just going to put the frame that she's working on. You don't want to put her down there with just foundation or drawn foundation because she'll get discouraged and maybe you're going to run into some problems. You want to leave her with whatever she's working on in my opinion. Um, just keeps her happy, keeps her content, and she carries on. Then what you do is you put in a, a queen excluder, and then you put in your honey super, or two perhaps, depending on your season, um, and then you put a, a nether brood box on top of that with all of the brood. And as you're separating all these frames, you don't shake off the bees, you just leave everybody where they are. Um, depending on how strong this colony is, I could end up with two. I've gone through a couple of other ones earlier, four or five days ago and there was so much brood I left uh, I left them in two boxes you leave it like that I think it's three days and what will happen there is all of the nurse bees are going to come up through the queen excluder they're going to go back to the brood after I think it's the third day then you install the snail grove board now my colonies the frames run uh, this way not that way not like a North American hive so you do not want to have any of these doors on the front, on the side that she's flying. So this is going to go in this way, on top of, on top of the honey supers. And if the colony is a decent strength, probably that time you're going to add another honey super. When you install this, there will be flight bees that are up in these upper boxes as well, and they're going down through the honey supers, through the queen excluder, through the brood nest, and they're going in and out to that front door. When you put this in, they no longer can do that. So you open the door he used wedges or whatever but anyway you open one of the doors left or right it doesn't matter but I'm gonna open this one those flight bees can't get down through this board they search and try and figure a way out they find this they leave they go cut some nectar and pollen if the bee gods are good to you they come back they're gonna come back to the door they've oriented to now there's bees emerging up here of course they're gonna be nurse bees already I gotta backtrack the day that you go to put this board in you check to make sure that they've started a cell. They should be starting a cell because they're separated from the queen um, and they should start a cell. If they're not starting a cell, you need to go through those upper boxes and do another look. It's possible that the queen either wiggled her way through there or maybe you caught it in the middle of a soup procedure and there's a second queen. If they're not making a cell, there's almost certainly a queen up in the top. So you've got to find her, put her down the bottom. However, he says that's a pretty rare occurrence. So, Back to wherever I was. Are you confused yet? <laughs> this is not a how-to video. The flight bees are going to leave through here and go back down below. After a week, those nurse bees are graduating up to become a flight bees. They're orientating to this top door here. So after a week, you come along and you close this door and you open the bottom one. The bottom one, of course, has access to the honey supers and then down to where the queen is. So all the flight bees that are out, they come back to this, this top entrance. Well, they can't get in. They just automatically go the one that's only half inch below. Any flight bees that are trapped in here, they come to here. They can't get out. So at the same time you do that, you open the one on the opposite side. Now those flight bees leave from here, but meanwhile they've orientated to this door. So they again, they go in the bottom. You're boosting the queen with flight bees, so they should be making a honey crop. The bottom one won't swarm because she has no nurse bees. The top one won't swarm because they have no flight bees. You've siphoned them away. One week goes by, you now close this top door, you open the bottom door, and you open the top door at the back. Same thing happens again. All the flight bees that are out go in there. The flight bees that are trapped come out here, but they go back to there. Two weeks have gone by. That cell they're building, you should have a virgin queen by now. Um, she's going to orientate to this door, and Mr. Snailgrove recommends making a landing board on the back. It's 180 degrees. Pretty good chance she won't get into the wrong hive that way. She comes back in here. Again, the bee gods are good to you. She gets mated. She sets up nest. Um, by then, hopefully, our swarm season's over, and then you've got a couple decisions to make. 
he actually says just remove the screen um, and let them join and he feels that the young queen's going to become successful uh, as I said in the other video, I don't think I would do that. Um, you, if you didn't want to increase, you could of course go down below, find the old queen pincher, and I would probably do a newspaper unite. Um, I'm pretty certain I'm going to be taking, assuming I get a mated queen, I'm going to be taking her away and setting up a new colony and let the old queen, old queen carry on. Um, that tends to be my method. Sometimes it bites me in the ass. So. I do have quite a pile of stuff out here and I gotta be a little bit more careful. I have two uh, colonies here, although they're very weak. Those are both queens that have come out of something else, some other things I'm goofing around with. Um, very weak, there's only a two, three frames of bees in there. So not too concerned about it, but I don't wanna block their entrance. So I've got tables set up all around. I'm gonna get rid of this honey super. I'm gonna split these three boxes up uh, onto tables. I've got a clean box that I'll put down on the floor and then I'm just gonna, simply going to start going through these. Um, I want to try and get uh, empty frames in the bottom if I can. A couple frames of honey but empty frames to give the queen a place to lay. If I don't have enough empty frames I'll probably drop in some foundation and I want to get the queen in there. Then I'll get an excluder on, then I'll put the honey super on and then I've got uh, another empty box. Then I'll just start putting, I'm probably just going to put everything in there. And uh, then I'll come back three days and install this. So that is the plan. Subject to change. <laughs> There's some bees there, not that many. And actually there weren't that many in that one. Um, all right, I am gonna throw my veil on just for a few minutes, just until I see what kind of a mood they're in. And then uh, we'll have some fun. It's stuck down pretty good, that's a good sign. Pretty light though. It's like 13. 13 was very light as well. Now we got some bees there though. Should look at the bottom of it. They got a little wee bit of burr comb built there. And they got a little wee bit on these top bars. Okay, let's get this box off. Oh, this one's, this one's got some weight. where all the honey's been going, I guess. A little bit more silicone there. Check for cells. There's definitely comb on the bottom. There's drone there, but I did not see any cells. Um, they're occupying about eight frames here. Push them down. No, oh, this was the one. Okay. This box is definitely lighter. See a couple queen cups there. Let me get this other camera going. All right. I just turned on the close-up camera. The other box I just took off looked about the same as this. A little bit more burr comb. This one actually looks pretty clean. clean. And I can see remnants of newspaper here. Uh, I remembered last fall I had uh, a little bit of smoke on them and then put a cover cloth on. Drives them down. Um, I had remembered last fall that I in newspaper united something. I thought it was 13 but I guess it was this one. Uh, I don't remember exactly why. I don't remember why. I'd have to look at my books. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, uh, let's get rid of this box to that other table, then I'll clean the floor and we'll put down another box. This box is very light. The floor is clean. Okay. I'm not going to do anything with that floor. They've got it actually pretty, pretty darn clean. Careful here. I've got a couple bees there. Okay, I want to try and get some frames back in there as quick as I can. Um, that bottom box was real light. I suspect, I suspect that's where I'm going to want to go. Let me move that close-up camera. All right, guys, I try to rearrange these cameras so I don't have my back to you. So I'm going to go in here. I just want to get a couple of frames back into there to keep those bees Happy that they're coming back. I can see these frames here are empty. 
Actually, those two are just two, two frames of foundation I put in here, I guess. This one here is one that's damaged. I think even last year I was struggling with drawing stuff. Hmm. You know what that is, eh? I've got the other side here. I must have scraped that or that's mouse damage. 13 I had ended up removing a full 10 frames of drawn foundation which I needed. I might do something similar. Another one is damaged. But they got... Uh, let's go one more. They got nectar in this one. But let's go one more. Oh, there's my queen. Paint is just about off of her. She is yellow though. And you know what? She does look a little wee bit bigger than the one I was in this morning. Okay, I'm going to bring her around to that camera because I can't quite get to that camera too easy. But you can see the paint is coming off her. Um, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, I need my good glasses. What do I do with my good glasses? Let's see if she's laying in here. I didn't leave myself a hell of a lot of room, did I? <laughs> okay, I gotta turn to the sun, guys. Very reminiscent of this morning. There's eggs in there, but uh, not a hell of a lot of them. Oh. <laughs> okay, I wanna lay my eyes on her again before I move this box in case she jumped ship on me. I always like to have my eyes on the queen when I'm putting the frame. Oh, there she is. Uh, I might even re-catch her, you know that? I don't normally like to walk away from the hive with my queens, but uh, see, I just hold on her there for a little bit. Then I like just to let them run around just for a second, just to make sure I haven't hurt her. But I've got a new dot on her. Very carefully, make sure I get her back to the hive. Put her back on that frame. All right, let's try and get a couple more frames in there to keep her happy. Uh, but I don't want anything that, any more brood though. I can't remember what I'm trying to do here. But I just want to make sure there is more brood. This has got eggs. This is all, this is all, uh, not all, but there's a bunch of cap stuff here and there's a bunch of larvae in there. So this does not go down there. This has got a bunch of pollen in it, but there's cap stuff in the upper corners. Okay, so that doesn't, I can see the next one's, the next one's brood as well. Okay, so this frame here, hmm, even though it needs repair, it's gonna go in the bottom. This frame here is fairly drawn. It's damaged on that side. I can put it in the bottom as well. And this one, I believe, yeah, this one here is, this one here, this side's not too bad. This side, I'm not sure if that was mice or if that was me scraping out something, but I'll put that down the bottom. All right, at least now there's enough down in the bottom. Keep her happy for the moment and any returning bees happy. I'm trying to reposition this camera so you can kind of see what I'm trying to do here. I uh, need another box. So I got the queen down in there with what four frames. I'm going to start putting anything I find with brood and honey, whatever, into here. And then I'm looking for more empty frames to try and get into there. I do have these two frames of foundation, but I, well, I got all those, yeah. I got all the frames I took from 13, so I'll be in good shape. But let's look here. Uh, close up camera on one side, wide angle camera on the other side. I'm sure I saw eggs and and some of this. I don't want to put that down below. I want to put that up above. Yeah, this has eggs. So this is going to go right in the middle. That's the one, that's the one I'd really, really hope they raise a cell. I might even notch it. This has got all kinds of capped. Let me move that camera. So this has got a, quite a bit of cap stuff. 
Um, I don't see any eggs or larvae, but I see cat brood and they, they've got a bunch of pollen in there. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Always scrape, guys. Get tired hearing me say that? <laughs> That's too bad. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? At this point, it really doesn't matter. Okay, more, this is more older stuff. The older brood on here. Probably if I look close, we'll see it emerging. More stuff on this side. This is pollen. This frame is not fully drawn. Actually, over here they got some nectar and pollen. I'm going to put that to the very outside, which is where it was, right? Those two frames there of um, drawn stuff, I'm just going to leave there for the moment. A whole bunch of bees on the front of the box. Um, just scanning, just scanning. Where's the camera? Just scanning to see what's in there. Okay, let's jump into that's going to have been the middle box. Is that the order I did it? Yeah, this is the top box. Let's go to that one next. Again, this is just a frame of. This is just a frame of foundation. I'm just going to stick it over here, get it out of my... Watch these two, get it out of my way. So this is just a, a drawn frame. Absolutely nothing in it. That goes in with the queen. Something's in the fence, and sadly, sometimes it's a honeybee. So this is just a partially drawn frame with a little wee bit of nectar in it. Put that down there as well. Silicone I want to clean off here. Nobody's there, so get that one fast. Wax melt is right here. There's no honey in it, so get rid of it. Come on, you. Get out of the way. This has got some weight. Okay, this one here. This one here is fairly full of honey. I'm going to put that in the bottom. Just, just, just to make sure that... Uh, I know they say it's very important to get some honey in the top box because you're going to be reducing the flight bees dramatically. Um, but I want to make sure that the bottom box has some honey as well. So this has got the drone brood there in the center. I'll zoom that camera a bit more. But actually, and there's honey all around the outside, but actually I see quite a number of eggs there as well. So that goes in the upper box. So this frame here, that's all brood. All capped. The other side as well. Okay, so that... Lots of brood here, so that goes in this upper box, without doubt. Next frame, I can see it's... Um, looks like brood that's been emerging. And it's all larvae. There's emerging brood there. 
and I can see white larvae in there. This side too, I gotta turn it to the sunlight. I turned that to the sunlight, it's right full of larvae. That also goes in the top. Mm. Put that on this side. I gotta get one more on the other side. This one here I can see is brood as well. You know, I haven't decided yet whether I like these plastic frames. I've <laughs> been using them for long enough. Drone. There's some drone uh, larvae in that. Shake the bees off. Um, you know, you got to be careful with the plastic frames because they warp and twist. Um, but they don't seem to build up the crud on the sidebars. I see a queen. They've got a... Bring this to the close-up camera. Where's my finger? Right there. they got a cup right there, but I... Look inside of it before I did that, but it's uh, let's see if I can show you nothing in it. That's queen cups. Okay, so this one here uh, has a bunch of larvae in it too. Well, it's going to go down here. And then I'm going to very gently slide these all over. Need two more in there. Well, there's two more right here, right? Where's that smoker? One buzzing around my head. Not happy with me. I got some, I got some burr comb there. Is that in view of the camera? Yeah, I think so. Just want to try and get rid of most of the bees. Clean that off if I can. Some drone there. Come on you, out of there. This has also got brood, more brood there, and larvae. So she's back, she's back, filled this. This side's the same, emerging brood, and there's larvae and eggs down there. I see more brood here as well. A whole lot better than colony 13 this morning. This side, of course, very outside frame, covered in drones. But there's actually brood there, pollen. I'm gonna spin this around so the brood, I'm gonna spin this around so the brood goes, of course, to the center and the drones and the pollen are on the outside. Okay, he's got a cover on that. So now, I need to, I need to see what's in here. Um, so this box here, got a bunch of bees in it. So I'm just gonna go put that in the front to let them run in. go in. Uh, so this one, that's just two frames of foundation, one there. Um, so what do I need here now? Three, right? Because there's three there and I got ten in here. I'm going to see if I can get three from here. Doesn't really matter, does it? I could just go get three frames from what I took apart there an hour ago, 13, drop in there, and I don't even have to take this apart, I can just put this in. Whether there's, whether there's brood up there, just honey, really doesn't make any difference to me. Let me go get three drawn frames for that, and then put this back together. I don't need to go through that. I might, but I don't need to. Got three really nice frames here. Moving the cameras around gives me a minute to think too. I think this is okay. He talks, you know, uh, in Mr. Snailgrove, in his book, he talks about making sure that the brood boxes that you put up above, if there's a dearth, you need to feed them because they don't have the foragers bringing in food. So I think that box 
could easily have some brood in it. It doesn't make any difference, but it's heavy. It's, it's clearly got some honey. So even if I do run into some crappy weather here in the next week or so, there's no concern about them raising a cell and feeding the larvae that I put into there. They've got lots of resources. That's my thinking at the moment. The queen, you want to give her a bunch of empty frames uh, that she can work in, although she's going to get slowed down because she doesn't have, she doesn't have nurse bees. Of course, she's not going to very shortly. She does right now. Okay, so let's just drop in two of them at the front. And then I'm going to slide all these frames carefully. Get out of the way, you. So that all goes back together nice. Uh, so I'm going to take this box before I get too many, too many bees there. This box, double check, make sure I got nothing on the bottom. Oh, I got a pile of bees on the bottom. I got to set this down. I'm going to turn it for the other camera. I got to set this down slowly. Look at the bees that have clustered to the bottom. Hopefully, hopefully that camera sees it. So that's okay. That's okay. We just, I could use the smoker. Just give them a chance to get the hell out of the way. Uh, I'm gonna put some smoke there though. Oh, 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 I'm already making a mistake. How many of you are screaming at the screen? How many of you are screaming at the screen? Scotty, you forgot what you're doing. <laughs> now my luck, my luck, my luck, the queen's already run up through there, right? <laughs> and this, this whole thing gone to hell in a handbasket because now the queen's up there. Should I? Yes, I should. Yes, I should. Oh, there she is. Right here, there's my finger. Can't see the screen. Can't see the screen, guys. And I got a bee blasting around me. We're just going to... I got one on the inside of my visor. That's never good. Alright, honey super now. Inner cover on the bottom was just stuck with a little bit of sticky stuff, eh? Okay. Okay, so now this inner cover comes off and now that box goes on there. Try and get rid of this one that's pissed off with me. <laughs> this just goes on the front. Not too many bees there at all. That goes on. I'm going to try and get rid of this. Try and keep things clean. Now we'll get rid of this. And then that other box that I didn't even go through will go on to. I'm going to check make sure they're not all hanging down. And they certainly are. So, and that box is heavy. So it's going to be a bit more of a challenge for me. So I'm going to try and drive them up with the smoker. And get rid of this. And this box is definitely mostly honey.
Then, knock these on the doorstep, scrape a little wax off of it, and that on there. Then, vent box, and a roof. And what do I have left? I think it's, I think it's damn near lunchtime, guys. Um, well, that went a little bit better than the 13. At least this one had some brood. Um, not as much as, uh, was it eight? Side stacker eight. There was like 20 frames of brood in that. That's okay, so now I'll leave this alone for three days, and then I come back, lift off these top two boxes, check, make sure they got a sell, and put in the board. Um, I will certainly try and bring you back for that. Good fun. Always good fun. Appreciate your time, guys. <laughs> you be good to your bees, and I'm sure to be good to you. We'll talk to you soon. Ciao.